Um, so Chris Alexander said this morning that he's going back to Ottawa to get an update on the Curdy family and so on and so forth. Um, what do you think needs to be done now by the government? And also, why do you think it took a photo to mobilize all the parties when this crisis has been going on for a long time? You know, it's, it's the world that we live in. You know, an image is worth a thousand words. Sometimes there's an image that summarizes and encapsulate, encapsulates everything that we've been feeling. In the Vietnam War, I remember the image of that young Vietnamese girl badly burned by napalm coming at the camera. Everybody remembers that image. This morning, we see a little boy getting picked up on a beach. As a dad and a grandfather, it's just unbearable that we're doing nothing. Canada has an obligation to act, and it would be too easy this morning to start assigning blame. Chris Alexander has a lot to answer for, but that's not where we are right now. We're worried about how we got here, how the collective international response has been so defective, how Canada has failed so completely. The UN has asked us to immediately take in 10,000. Let's do that. And then we can start from there. We, we can absolutely absorb that right away. And we know that the numbers that have been put up haven't been met in the past, but it, we've got to move past that. How, how desperate do you have to be to take that risk with your kids? That desperation of the parents is what we should be asking ourselves about. You know, Turkey's been doing an amazing job. Turkey has, has taken in so many refugees, and I've met the Turkish ambassador a number of times. And he's always said, look, look at the numbers. We've got well over a million already. Canada has to do more. You have to help us more. And we do have to do more. We can do a lot more. The international community has failed. Canada has failed. But I just want us to start acting now, as do all other Canadians. I, I don't want to... Again, it's, it's too easy uh, to assign blame. Let's start with what the UN has already given us as a target, the 10,000. Let's get that done right away. Let's be generous. Let's be open. Let's do like we did with the boat people after the collapse of Vietnam. Let's, let's bring our hearts to understand that we have this obligation and let's get it done. Would an NDP government uh, pledge to uh, update immigration regulations in the framework there? Look, the NDP MP who had been helping the, the family, the Curdy family, is in the same position we're all in today. Just think that these kids, you know, the older brother could have been going to school next week in Canada. This is hard for everyone. It's a failure. It's a failure by the international community. It's a failure for Canada. And it's too easy to start assigning blame. I want us to start concentrating on getting a result. It's the objective that we have to share. I don't think that there's a Canadian waking up this morning and seeing those images who's not saying, okay, enough. Let's just start acting now. We want Canada to be a respected player on the world stage, and we're not that respected player under the Conservatives. Let's get there. Let's start getting it done.